As a creator nowadays, one of the most important things we have to think about is how we're going to capture ourselves. And unless you have a cameraman in your pocket, which I don't think we're quite there yet, you have to rely on either a person or a robot of some sort. What if I told you that there was a way you could dynamically capture shots beyond just following you from behind or going in a circle and without a cameraman, but even more precise and more dynamic? My name is Kai and today I want to show you how I not only shot this one take video, but also danced in it and how you can also achieve impossible shots as well using the Skydio 2 Plus. One of the biggest struggles for me as a creator personally and as a dancer is that if I'm filming a video, then I can't really dance in it. And if I'm dancing in a video, I can't film it. So I saw Skydio 2 Plus as an opportunity to potentially fix that long, long problem I've always had. I sent them the proposal and sure enough, they thought it was a great idea. And they ended up sending me a Skydio 2 Plus cinema kit for me to be able to make this video with. So yes, this video was sponsored and powered by Skydio. And I've been waiting a very long time to say something like that. So I appreciate you guys for believing in me. But regardless, I'm going to give you a real look into the process of what it was like getting the shot, including the challenges. And through this, you can kind of see how Skydio's technology works and if it's something that's right for you. So once again, a big problem that creators always have is figuring out how they're going to film themselves. So this was something I found an opportunity to try to solve with Skydio 2 Plus and their new feature that they added, which is keyframe mode. And if any of you are familiar with editing softwares or keyframing in general, it's when you take one point, you take another point and change it, and then the computer will move between those two points for you. And that's exactly what Skydio 2 Plus does, but in real life. So it's crazy. It's actually insane to see it. See, look at it. It's yeah. It shows up in you, space. Yeah, you can see it in space. Dude, that's freaking wild. Yeah, I just love the, like how it looks. That's, that's freaking crazy. I know, crazy. right? And sure enough, you put the drone in one spot and then you fly it to the next spot, including where you want the gimbal to be facing, what tilts you want it to be at. So this keyframes position and camera. Yeah. And then you can also control the speed and how fast it moves to that point. Trying it in real life was just different. <laughs> it's not something I've seen on other drones yet. Skydio is definitely doing something very different here and I think it's, it's really, really awesome. <laughs> Let's go. Crazy. So in order to make this idea come to life, I needed two main things. The first thing was dancers. So I hit up my friend Jeremy, I told him my idea, and he was able to start choreographing something that would be able to be flexible once we got the location locked down. Second of all, of course, was the location. Something that we can maximize showcasing the ability and just how far we could take filming ourselves to the next level. Jeremy and his Team 220 ended up choreographing a piece that would be flexible and movable throughout the location. And I found a house in San Diego that was three, three floors for us to play with. Which would allow us to push the self-filming capabilities of the Skydio 2 Plus to the max. So the main objective was to see how creatively we can move between these different levels and different locations within this single location. So I set the drone in different places in the house just to see what it would look like from different angles. I picked my favorite angles and then I found a way to creatively move between them. So we wanted to start the shot off pretty mellow and with low expectations. So we started at the very top of the balcony looking into the house. After Trish is done freestyling, we're gonna fly off the balcony to the second floor to create that shock value and then show Jeremy. Once he's done freestyling, it'd be flying to CJ and Cedric to capture their section on the pool level. We then go up back to the first floor and this is when I would go hands-free, join them in the choreography and then finish and do a freestyle power move session as the drone flies on top. And then the drone would fly out and the video would be finished. Not too hard, right? <laughs> oh, sh oh, sh oh Yeah, not too bad. Okay, we're gonna try to roll one. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but hopefully it'll be fine. So there were a couple challenges we faced through the shoot, and the first one was timing. So although the keyframes were all planned and the Skydio 2 Plus would always fly pretty much the exact same route every time we reset it, there would still be the issue of timing. Oh, I'm late on this guy. So I had to control that on the screen. Although the keyframes were mapped out, all I had to do was slide. So making sure that the drone is flying at that right speed and the right level to be able to capture at that right time. I think like was, already over there. <laughs> yeah. We rehearsed a couple times to get that dialed in and eventually I was able to get a better and better idea of when 
to fly away and when to hold on somebody. The fact that I didn't have to worry about drone movements entirely made things a lot less challenging. Which brings us to the next challenge actually, which is me transitioning from controlling the speed to moving into the piece. And then of course, on top of that, was actually executing the choreography. <laughs> choreography isn't my strong suit, but I wanted to push myself for this challenge in order to showcase just how well the Skydio 2 Plus can capture someone who's not hands on the drone. I'm gonna try my best to uh, switch gears as fast as possible, because if I don't do it properly, then the whole video gets messed up. So it's gonna take some execution on all of our parts. Oh my, mine included, so. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Also, now is probably a good time to mention that if you like filmmaking, drones, and seeing the world in new ways, I'd highly recommend you consider hitting that subscribe button and following along on future videos. So please, come join our journey. Thanks, back to the video. So throughout the shoot, we were constantly pushing Skydio 2 Plus's limits as far as we could. And the really cool thing about the Skydio 2 Plus that I wasn't anticipating on needing, but actually did really need, was just how smart its obstacle avoidance is. As you can see, there are these huge cameras on the Skydio 2 Plus, and they're just obstacle avoidance cameras. There are six of them, three on the top and three on the bottom, that are constantly watching for objects, and it's avoiding it by itself. And this was actually really great, because sometimes I was unattending the drone, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. and then get blown away by the wind, or the keyframe wouldn't hit perfectly. But regardless of that, the Skydio would absolutely not crash. It wouldn't crash even if you tried to, because it's just so smart. And that's actually really, really helpful, especially for people who aren't as well versed in drones. You can rest assured that as long as you're not flying close to like really small tree branches or wires that are super hard to see, the Skydio is going to avoid pretty much any obstacle you try to crash it into. So this actually proves out to be super helpful on our end as well, because the last thing I would want to do is crash the drone into the property we were renting. After about six or seven takes, we only had a little bit of time left before we had to leave the location. So the pressure was on. But at this point, I felt pretty dialed in. I'd actually gotten a friend, Cedric, one of the dancers, to run up the stairs and make sure that at least once we're done with the overhead shots, that he could slide the speed and have it fly away into the distance for a perfect ending to the video. After a couple attempts and experimenting and trial and error with this function of drone I've never used before in my life, we were able to get a pretty dang cool shot. Let's do this. Let's go. time we shot a project I was actually super passionate about and we got to get a pretty darn good shot. It's a wrap. Oh, yeah, baby. Dang. This was a new territory and I'm excited to play with the 2 plus more and its keyframing options. You did good buddy. You did good. So if you're a dancer, filmmaker, or some sort of creative that is interested in filming themselves and starring in more of their own shots, Skydio could be a really, really dope option for you to look into. I'd highly recommend at least trying it out, and I currently don't know of any other drones that have this function on the market yet. Even just with the keyframing value on its own, let alone the self-tracking and smart obstacle avoidance, this thing is amazing. If you're interested in the Skydio 2 Plus, go ahead and check it out. I've got some links below, and I hope you enjoyed this video. It brought you value, and if you have any questions about this process, please let me know. My name is Kai. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!